Let's say we want to change Higaki. So we tap on his name and see that the challenge won't pass because player is not accepting games. You can see this here. Is the player open for games? We can see that we are, this guy is, but Higaki isn't. We can also not be available for games if we change this. Change is unable to disable. Uh, Pandanet doesn't refresh things as it seems. So if we want to see the actual state of players, we have to click refresh here. And then we can see that we are no longer available for games. Okay, so let's ask Higaki nicely to be available for games and refresh. See? Alright, so if you want to challenge Higaki, then we click on his name, then select challenge, then we can select the board size, our color or nigiri, handicap, main time in minutes, of course there are also different time settings, so let's select Bioyomi and that's it. Let's say OK, now Higaki is being challenged. If he clicks OK, then we have a game. Yay, Higaki accepted our game. Cool. One thing to be aware of, before starting a game, if you want to chat with your potential opponent, then you select their name and click Start Chat. Then you have a chat with Higaki, for example. Hey. And then Higaki sees that the chat window opened and can say hello back. The problem with that is some people click send message and if you do that then nobody will know because the message lands here and see? <sighs> Higaki made a mistake of sending the message instead of starting a chat. We can also search for people, for example let's take another player, Zorg. Click here, then find users, and let's say we don't remember the whole name, but we remember it was Z H O R something. So Zor, and press enter, and we can see that even even though we didn't type the whole nickname, it found every player which had Zor in his or her nickname. Then we click on the player, and then we can send a, a challenge. Okay, let's play a game. We're gonna get challenged by Hikaki. So we're challenged by Hikaki. There is a rank difference. Okay, so we have a game. We have these options and tools. We can add time, let's say one minute. We have toggle coordinates. We have game info and such. We can suggest Komi. If the game is played by players with a strength difference, then the Komi is different with regards to how big the difference is. We can suggest the Komi after the start of the game like this. The Komi has been suggested. Higaki will suggest a different Komi, let's say 10.5, then OK. And we can see that we can accept. The Komi has been set to 10.5. Uh, we can toggle full screen on and off here. We have the undo, pass and resign button over there. We also have a chat box here. We can say anything, basically. The observers can see what we're writing, but if we are observers of other games, then the players can only see what we wrote after the game has finished. <laughs> 